All right, <clears throat> welcome to Tribulation 515, 2011. Today is May 25th. It is Friday out here in San Jose. It is a miserable day. They're actually saying it's going to rain. It's about 54 degrees out. You know, so once again, kind of abnormal, spooky weather. Now, of course, you know, there are those of you out there that, uh, you know, refuse to pull your heads out of your asses or out of the sand you know <laughs> I'm not sure where you got your head but at this point it's either one or the other so you know th those of you that are there you know living in a delusional bubble you'll be like man there's nothing abnormal about the weather in San Jose right but uh, for those of us that have eyes to see and ears to hear you know we are now at Tribulation Day 276. And my friends, we are on the cusp of some truly amazing events taking place. Now, what those events are remain to be seen. But there can be no doubt, none, that we are in the Tribulation. We're 376 days in. <laughs> what further proof do you need? So, uh, you know, I kind of told you I would talk about some positive things, but you know what? My heart just isn't into it, and there's just too much crazy stuff going on. So once again, I'm going to bring you the doom and the gloom of the tribulation. And you know what? It's like a broken record, you know? Um, the global economy continues to teeter on the brink. A collapse is imminent. You know, everything out there is completely fake. You know, you can't keep spending money and refinancing and refinancing and borrowing money and borrowing money and printing money and printing money. You know, I don't, you know, I don't know. Where, where's the school that teaches that kind of economics? And, you know, uh, the latest example of how phony and fake everything is, is the uh, Facebook IPO that recently took place. You know, uh, Morgan Stanley and uh, the lawyers and the uh, big wigs and uh, Zuckerberg, you know, you might as well call them uh, Zuckerberg, you know, they got out there and hyped up Facebook and, you know, Facebook is as phony as a $3 bill, you know, I mean, I know I use it a little bit, but, you know, A, it, it makes everybody believe they're actually communicating with each other and it's actually doing the opposite. It's making us all cocoon because instead of actually talking to people face to face and going to actually visit them face to face, we just log on to our Facebook pages and post some pictures and think, oh, okay, I, I talked to my relative or my friend, you know, so I don't have to actually go and see them. But, you know, Facebook is a company that doesn't make anything, you know, it, it's like the Wizard of Oz, you know, it's like you look behind the curtain, there's nothing there. You know, they may have some ads or whatever, but, you know, I don't go shopping on Facebook. You know, when I, when I want to go shopping, I don't go to Facebook. And, you know, when I want to when I want to go to a company's website, you know, I don't go to Facebook. Even if, like, Coca-Cola could have a Facebook page. But if I'm sitting here going, you know, I want to learn something about Coca-Cola, I don't go to Facebook. I, go, I type in Coca-Cola and I go to Coca-Cola.com. But anyway, you know, the Facebook IPO is going to turn into the face plant IPO as everybody loses their ass. And you know what? They deserve to lose all their money because, you know, this world where everybody wants to get rich quick, you know, wants instant gratification. You know, you want to buy a house and sell it the very next day for double the amount of money. You want to put down your money on an IPO and have your money double, tripled, quadrupled overnight. That's all fake. That's all phony. You know, the world cannot possibly sustain itself with that kind of greed. But you know what? Maybe I'm the one that's crazy, you know? Maybe I'm just making this all up and maybe everything's hunky-dory. Maybe the fact that, you know, all those European countries are going bankrupt. Maybe the fact that, you know, the United States now for the umpteenth time we're going to have a, a political battle over the debt of this country which is skyrocketing upwards while the rest of the world spirals downwards into chaos. And we're going to watch our politicians do absolutely nothing about it. Nothing at all. But you know what? We don't need to worry about nothing. It's all make-believe, right? None of it's real. 
you know, raising taxes on us, you know, raise it on the rich, raise it on the poor, you know, until we're taxed to death. Hey, nothing to worry about, you know. You know, the fact that America, we started this country because we felt like paying 10% was too much. And now we're paying, you know, God knows what, 50%, 60%, 70%. Pretty soon it'll be everything you got the government's going to take. So on the economic front, there's nothing but doom. There, we're headed towards the cliff and we're going to fall into the abyss. And you know, the abyss is an interesting place because as all this crap falls into the abyss, eventually something's going to rise up out of the abyss. And you know, that might be one of those crazy events that we're on the cusp of. But you know, right now I'm not going to get uh, bogged down into that. You know, uh, geopolitically, things are a mess. You know, Egypt, you know, looks like the Brotherhood's going to take control and Egypt will probably become a, 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 a radical Muslim state. You know, Iran is still doing their crazy stuff. All this... You know, BS we're hearing that Obama's going to sign some kind of a treaty with Iran. You know, it isn't even worth the paper it's printed on, you know, so it means absolutely nothing. And, you know, Korea is continuing to rattle their sabers and they're getting ready to test more nuclear devices. And, of course, Russia is no longer our friend. Now that, you know, the great Vladimir Putin has taken over as dictator, he has set his sights squarely on the United States. And, you know, I tell you, my friends, they're looking at launching some kind of preemptive strike. Uh, you know, other crazy stuff, you know, around the world, there's earthquakes everywhere. You know, the polar caps are melting. There's famine, there's drought, there's diseases breaking out. You know, in Georgia, you know, they've had four cases of necrotizing fasciitis, which otherwise is known as flesh-eating bacteria. And I tell you, my friends, you don't want to experience that. I know. I had it five years ago. It's horrific. You know, once you get it, they got to just start slicing pieces of your body, you know, amputating your legs, your arms, your fingers. And that stuff's spreading. You know, why is there bacteria, you know, uncur incurable, flu, you know, necrotizing fasciitis, diseases, they're springing up everywhere. Why? Because this world is on the brink. And why is the world on the brink? Is because we've destroyed it, you know, with the genetically modified uh, organisms, all the food we eat. You know, the world was made perfect, just the way it was, how God made it. And we have screwed it up to where there's no turning back, you know. And that's why all these diseases are breaking loose, you know. I was listening on the radio just today. You know, this gal on the radio was saying, oh, they found out this new thing. You know, like, you know how we've been telling you to take calcium supplements for years and years and years, especially women? Oh, now, now they're finding out that it causes heart attacks. And that's why heart attacks have been going through the roof. Well, I'll tell you, my friends, if you're taking artificial anything, you're on a one-way path to destruction. You know, your best, best uh, bet as far as health is to exercise and eat the food that God created. You know, natural foods, you know, bananas, fruits, nuts. You know, if you're eating genetically modified beef, you know, you're probably going to get mad cow. But, you know, the global craziness continues. You know, our planet is literally shaking with tribulation. But of course, you know what? That's all in my head, man. You know, I'm just, I'm making all that up, you know. So if you got your head in the sand, just keep it in the sand, man. Don't worry about it. Uh, you know, a little bit of science news. You know, the first commercial uh, satellite was launched, the Dragon capsule. You know, we're in the year of the Dragon. The Dragon capsule just got launched. And, you know, I'll, I'll throw something out there, you know. Revelations 12.9, it talks about the dragon being cast down. Well, guess what? The dragon capsule is going to dis disengage from the International Space Station on May 31st, and it's going to be cast down back to the Earth. And there's a saying, you know, as above, so below. So there could be a spiritual manifestation of the, the literal dragon, the spiritual dragon being cast down to Earth. And guess what? We actually got a physical manifestation of the dragon capsule being cast down to Earth on uh, May 31st. But you know what? Hey. Maybe that's all in my mind once again. And, you know, for those of you that know better, that are way smarter than I am, that have your heads in the sand, that are just going about your way, watching Snooky on MTV and, you know, getting all caught up in your normal lives, you know, uh, going to sporting events and, you know, trying to pay your mortgage, you know, looking for a job, whatever, you know, just ignore everything I'm saying, you know, because it's just fake. You know, I'm fake, you know, and everything I'm talking about that is fake is not fake. It's real. But, you know, see, that's the deception. I'm just trying to tell you the truth that everything you're looking at is the deception and, and is fake. 
So, uh, you know, there's been just animal die-offs everywhere. Everywhere around the world. You know, dolphins washing up. The latest one I read about is they said in Chesapeake Bay, 60,000 to 100,000 fish just washed up on shore. And once again, I'll tell you, my friends, when animals are dying, washing up, birds falling out of the sky, it's a bad sign, man. That's another sign that the earth is out of order, that the earth is sick, you know, whether it's radiation leaking into the environment from Fukushima going into the atmosphere, put, being poured into the Pacific Ocean, polluting everything that comes across its path. And, you know, I just read another article. They're saying the radiation is at least two and a half times more deadly than originally reported. Well, I got news for you. You know, they're lying about even that. It's a hundred times, a thousand times more deadly. And Fukushima is still melting down, man. That's a disaster that's been in progress, is still in progress. And uh, you know what? I don't see a solution to it. I Seriously, I don't, man. So, you know, we're going to have like a ring of death eventually going around the globe from the Fukushima meltdown. And, you know, because we're not shutting down any of our other nuclear facilities, you know, that kind of nuclear disaster is going to spray. So, you know what? I'm just going to wrap it up. You know, we got some crazy astrological stuff that's right around the corner. We're on the cusp of some crazy stuff. But Mercury goes behind the sun this weekend on the 26th and the 27th. And at the same time, a huge sunspot is rotating, you know, into uh, what they call the Earth zone. So that if it blows off a CME, man, we're going to be directly in its path. And it's rotating around this weekend. So, you know what? I'll just cross my fingers and hope that I'm the one that's paranoid. And that, you know, all this activity we've been seeing on the sun, all these CME, CMEs that have been hitting Earth and causing all these earthquakes and everything else that, hey, that that's all just in my head, that it isn't really happening, you know, and that you sitting at home, you know, watching MTV and Snooky and the boys, you know, having a good old time, uh, you know, at the beach or wherever the heck it is they're hanging out, that that's actually reality. And of course, you know, literally days after, you know, on 6-6, we begin the legendary, the awesome transit of Venus and whatever implications it might have for us here on this planet. You know, a lot of people are climbing on board with that, saying, what the heck's going on? You know, I got over on Operation End Times, I got the Venus conspiracy, but you could just type in the Venus transit and you'll find a million billion videos on it. Some people, they know what they're talking about. Others don't, you know, but one way or another, my friends, we're on the cusp because all of it is right around the corner, man, this weekend and then in the next seven days, you know, within the next 10 days, man, all hell could break loose. So what I'm going to tell you. It's the only advice I can. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to wrap this on a positive note. That if you want to transit through all of this, you got to think positive. You got to get your head screwed on straight. You got to find out what it is you actually value and don't value. What's real and what's not real. And I'll tell you honestly, you know, get right with God. Have God in your heart, man. That'll be a good thing. It'll help you out, man. Because if you don't, it could be a rough ride. That's right. A really rough ride. But, you know, if you want more of that spiritual stuff, go on over to Operation End Times, man. You'll get the details on that. But in the meantime, I'll just do some, some positive stuff. You know, I'll pick up some extra piles of doo-doo because that's real. You know, poo-poo in the park, that's real, man. You know, all this other crazy stuff may not be real. Snooky on MTV, that's real. Poo-poo in the park, that's real. And I've been picking up as much of it as I possibly can because, you know, I feel like every time I pick up a pile, I'm somehow making the earth a better place. But you know what? Maybe I'm just imagining that too. All right. Stay thirsty, my friends. God bless you all out there. Tribulation 515, 2011. The tribulation continues. Time to get your tribulation on. All right. Rock on.